know now that health care battle is over, we lost, but it's just a battle, not the war. But I, I think it's important to spend a few minutes to, to, to discuss why we lost. We lost, I think, because you remember on September 11th, we, we were all Americans. We all thought that we all believed in the Constitution. We never expected or suspected that there were factions of elitists waiting in the wings who believed, like the president, that the Constitution is fundamentally flawed. We just assumed that everybody felt as we did, that our founders were inspired to create the most perfect political document that ever, was ever created, that while it wasn't perfect, we believed that it laid a foundation for the freest, best government on earth. Not perfect, just the best currently on earth. We believe that the, subsequ the uh, subsequent years since the ratification have proven that out. Again, we have problems. We also believe that America was a melting pot. I, I remember thinking, I'm a, why do I don't hate anybody. We believe that those who immigrated here legally added to the richness and uniqueness of America, but also they were assimilated into the whole, the melting pot. We believe that they came here for a reason, and that reason wasn't to destroy us. The reason was that they came to the greatest, freest nation on earth because we offered the best opportunity for success, and we welcome people. The problem was not all Americans believe these things. The progressives, for a hundred years, have been categorizing, dividing, adding political correctness, marginalizing us, not just here at home, but all over the world, for as long as any of us have been alive. The same people who just passed health care are the same people who first started blaming us for what happened on 9-11. Oh, we've mistreated the world. We haven't been nice. We've, we've got too much stuff here. Oh, we need to better understand them. I remember saying on 9-11 that America had changed forever, that we had been brought together in a common purpose and our petty differences would be set aside and we would change. Yeah, what a dope I was, huh? That feeling lasted about two months. <laughs> we didn't understand who it was we were really up against. We have foes outside and inside. Well, now fundamental transformation is, up, is upon us. And last night, President uh, Obama gloated. He said this. We rose above the weight of our politics. Hmm. We pushed back on the undue influence of special interests. You've got to be kidding me. We didn't give in to mistrust. What? Or to cynicism. What? Or to fear. Oh. We proved that this government, a government of the people and by the people, still works for the people. Stop. That's insulting. The problem with the line of the people and by the people, the majority of the people are opposed to this bill. Yeah, you, you got away from politics and, and uh, please, I mean, how, how, I mean, you have to be four years old or been hit in the head with a dodgeball too much to not see through this. Now they're setting up the immigration reform debate. It was part of the deal, legalizing nearly 11 million people who are here illegally. Just as this wasn't about universal health care, immigration reform isn't about amnesty. Oh, no, no. In fact, Obama wanted to be clear on that point. I want to be clear. He wants to be clear. If someone's here illegally, they yes. won't be covered under this plan. No. I also don't simply believe we can ignore the fact that our immigration system is broken. That's why I strongly support making sure folks who are here legally have access to affordable, quality health insurance under this plan, just like everybody else. What the hell is he even talking about? That doesn't make any sense. If they're here legally, then they already have access. In fact, if I'm not mistaken, if they're here illegally, they have access. Ask California. America, it is about time to become the greatest generation again. This thing is as big as anything we've ever faced. This is our Pearl Harbor, our Normandy, our Custer's last stand. Just after winning the contentious, unpopular, rip us apart health care bill battle by jamming it down the throats of the American people by hook or by crook, they're now talking about comprehensive immigration reform this week. So what do you do? What do you do? You do what our grandparents did. You get up from your seat and you never give up, you never get in, give in.